Hello, family and friends. My name is Kathleen Hansen, and I am the Artistic Director of the San Diego Women's Chorus. As 2021 comes to a close, we are reflecting on this past year, we're feeling grateful for our community, and we're looking forward to a new year that's full of possibilities. We have compiled a show tonight of newly recorded pieces, as well as old favorites, and we are so thankful for your love and support. Please leave us some comments, let us know where you're watching from, and of course, enjoy the show. safe haven has certainly become a complex concept over the past couple of years. That said, we are glad to be able to share this time with you in our own homes, but together in spirit. Next up is a festive piece with a twist that SDWC performed in 2014. The lyrics are from the first stanza of the Edgar Allan Poe poem, The Bells, and only showcases the most cheery part of the poem. It reads, Hear the sledges with the bells, silver bells. What a world of merriment their melody foretells. How they tinkle, tinkle, tinkle in the icy air of night. 
while the stars that oversprinkle all the heavens seem to twinkle with a crystalline delight, keeping time, 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 in a sort of runic rhyme to the tintinabulation that so musically wells from the bells, 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 from the jingling and the tinkling of the bells. Christmas is coming up. What do I want for Christmas? Probably the same things that most of the rest of you want. A little more love, a little more empathy, a little more respect. I wish those things for all of us as we build a better world together.
Winter solstice marks the longest night of the year and the return or birth of the sun. It's a time to come together to honor the darkness and have faith in the promise of light. It's a time of slumber, deep dreams, gestating seeds of life and creativity. In ancient times, it was marked with special feasts and the burning of a Yule log or bonfire. Nature urges humanity to slow down during winter, to be with loved ones, be patient, and to listen as Earth silently sleeps. For my family, it's our favorite holiday and a reminder to reconnect with nature. We decorate a solstice tree with stars, suns, moons, and silver decorations to symbolize light, and we each get a new candle to burn to welcome the return of the light. We read special nature-based stories, and we feast on a hearty meal. It's my hope that however you choose to celebrate, that your hearth and home are filled with light and love as you welcome the return of the light to your lives. A fire is burning, the long night draws near. All who need comfort are welcome by here. We'll dance beneath the stars and toast the past year. For the spirit of solstice is still living here. We'll count all our blessings while the mother lays down with snow as her blanket covering the ground. Thanks to the mother for the life that she We meet again, Laurel Fisher, co-director of membership. Indeed we do, Tina Royster, co-director of membership. Virtually, as friends so often do these days. We are more than just a group of singers here at Sandy Gomez Chorus. We truly are each other's circle. We sing a song about that back in 2014 called A Circle of Friends. Oh yeah. It had such beautiful lyrics, quite poetic. How did that go again? Something about flowers. Yes. Right, it goes. In fragrant spring, the flowers of May throw all their sheltering folds away. Reviving, nature waves her wand on every tree. The leaves expand. But mine be the hearth, mine the home, mine the fire that blazes bright and a circle of friends on a winter's night. Summertime, each leafy stem is decked with its leafy diadem. Each rose holds fast with a fond caress, a captive bee in its sweet recess. We long for spring and summer when the chill of winter begins. Yet warmed by the fire and the kindness of friends, we find joy in the season again. Such a good song. Let's listen to it now.
next song has a great backstory. On April 7th, 2020, we were just a few weeks into the pandemic here in the United States when John Prine, a musician from Nashville, passed away. He was known not only for his humor, but for music that had elements of protest as well as social commentary. At this time, musicians from all over the country and the world were watching their tours get canceled as we all went into lockdown and distancing. The combination of these events led our friend Janice Ian to compose a song while she was doing laundry and sing it into her phone. The song is entitled Better Times Will Come. She passed that cell phone recording along to the musicians in her address book with a request to record our own versions of it. The San Diego Women's Chorus happily obliged in one of our first virtual song productions. Now, nearly two years later at the end of 2021, if you visit bettertimeswillcome.com, you'll find over 100 artists, including us, who have recorded this song adding their special touches to a collective of voices that proclaim, when this world learns to live as one, oh, better times will come.
learned a lot over the last 20 months about community, about teamwork, and about persistence. We appreciate the support you've given us to help us through these challenging times. We elected to have one more virtual season to stay safe and to continue to allow our out-of-town members to sing with us. Starting in September, we met weekly on Zoom for two mini seasons with the goal of putting together two virtual productions, one in the fall and one in the winter. It was certainly a highlight of my week to meet together with friends who've been living in my computer. 
We also had the wonderful opportunity to do some outdoor activities together, performing and filming our new songs for the season. This next song is one of those, our winter song for you. This time of year, we have all kinds of traditions, and it's an especially fun time for children. Children? Yep. I have five children, 13 grandchildren, and one great. Our traditions include making gingerbread houses and celebrating our family's special day on New Year's Day. Being able to record and perform this song with my daughter and granddaughter makes it a beautiful memory I will cherish forever as we reminisce about holidays past. Little toy trains, little toy tracks, 
little toy drums come from a sack Carried by a man dressed in white and red Little one, don't you think it's time you were in bed? Close your eyes, listen to the skies All is cause, all is well Soon you'll hear Chris Kringle and the jingle bell Bringing little toy trains, little toy tracks Little toy drums coming from a sack Carried by a man dressed in white and red The one, don't you think it's time you were in bed? Good afternoon, my name is Celeste Oram, I'm assistant to the artistic director. Um, my other passion besides choral singing is medieval music history, which I teach at UCSD. Now, the Cliff Notes version of a history of European monasticism is basically a repeating cycle of ecclesiastical fathers imposing on nuns ever more arbitrary rules on what they were and weren't allowed to do, and nuns doing whatever they jolly well pleased anyway. <laughs> The medieval convent, far from its popular reputation as a stone-walled tedium whose sole purpose was to punish naughty girls, was in fact a lively community of women living together on their own terms, and the only environment in medieval Europe where a woman could devote her life to intellectual and artistic pursuits. Medieval nuns read, wrote, composed poetry and music, compiled scientific texts, sang sophisticated music together, and according to plenty of historical evidence, had quite a good time doing it. Take, for example, the Libro Primo delle Laude Spirituali, a collection of sacred songs published in Venice in 1563. It is clear that this volume's purpose was one of improving the nun's musical repertoire, for its dedication text reads, and I quote, The practice of singing louder in the convents is no longer what it was, and currently the religious, especially nuns, are given to singing lascivious songs that would shock guests at even a secular gathering. Close quote. It is a great loss to the archives of music history that these raucous songs that apparently earned some sisters quite a reputation do not survive. However, the San Diego Women's Chorus Historical Performance Society has been studiously researching medieval music theory and practice in an effort to reconstruct the vernacular music of the medieval convent. They are now proud to present to you their historical reconstruction of the lost 15th century Lauda entitled Nativitatis in Chernobium, or in its English translation, Christmas in the Convent.
to celebrate the mass of Christmas. But before we continue, I have a few brief announcements. I continue. After the conclusion of the mass, we shall adjourn to the fellowship hall, where there will be spiced cider and donut holes. Please be aware that the ball on the left has been laced with rum. It is still not too late to sign up for the cleanup committee. If you are interested, please see Sister Mary Francis for the sign up sheet. <laughs> and also let us give our thanks to Sister Agnes, who did the decorations. <laughs> Everyone is familiar with the Hanukkah story of the oil that lasted eight nights. But the original story of Hanukkah begins with a civil war between two groups of Jews. One group who aligned themselves with the ruling Greeks and another, the Maccabees, who believed that assimilation was annihilation. After a bloody revolt, the Maccabees prevailed. It isn't surprising 
that the rabbis chose to downplay a war between Jews and focus instead on the miracle of the oil. For me, the Hanukkah story is one of many stories of Jewish survival against all odds. It is a message from our ancient ancestors across 2000 years, urging us to dedicate our hearts and minds to the preservation of our culture and traditions. Haksameak. Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the hora. Gather round the table, we'll give you a treat. Sivon in to play with the vivo to eat. And while we Hanukkah, 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 Days long ago. Hi, happy holidays. I'm Linda Morrow, president of the board of the San Diego Women's Chorus. And on behalf of the board, I'd like to thank you for attending our virtual holiday concert and for all the support that you've shown us over the past two years. Can you believe that it's actually been two years since we've been able to perform live for you? We, we can't either. So what are you doing in 2022? Well, we hope it's either singing with us uh, or attending one of our upcoming live concerts. We plan to return to rehearsals in the beginning of February and we have April 30th and May 1st as the dates for our first return to live performance. We hope to see you there. If you're interested in, in singing with us, you can send an email to membership at sdwc.org. If you're interested in just continuing to support us financially, then you can text SDWC to 44321, or you can visit our website sdwc.org and click on the donate button. And now for a look to the past, or perhaps into the very near future, what are you doing New Year's Eve? Maybe it's much too early Say 
What are you doing, New Year's? to our blooper reels. I'm not totally sure how we'll be able to incorporate them into our live seasons. Usually our hilarity and goofy mistakes only happen behind closed doors. Nevertheless, here is, one more time, bloopers and outtakes from our winter 2021 production. Hi. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is the one. Hey, I got this. <laughs> Mind the fire that blazes bright and a circle. I'm gonna do it again. You better come up over there, people. <laughs> <laughs> in our own homes, but together in spirit. We sing a song about that back in 2014. At least look at the camera. Go ahead. <laughs> Anna. 
No. <laughs> We are so looking forward to seeing you all next year as we celebrate our 35th anniversary as an organization. Please make sure that you like and follow our social media pages and sign up for our mailing list so you don't miss a single thing because we have some wonderful plans in store. Finally, I'd like to introduce our final song of the season and of the year. We need a little singing, we need a little laughter, and we definitely need a whole lot of community and friendship. Again, thank you so much for joining us and we will see you very soon.